Hey guys, so today, Anoy posted a little tweet here where he has introduced essentially what is a demo for building an LMS app. So just to go through here, we've got um, Anoy put that Flow Academy is an upcoming clonable built with Webflow, Wizd, and Xano. So it's not real, as Anoy says. Um, but it's a mock-up that he made for a demo. And it's, to be honest, going based on Anoy's previous um, demos and clonables, it's an absolute cracker. So um, what Anoy has done is he's got a bit of an introduction here. Um, essentially, he's going to build out that LMS um, and do a series on showing you how, it, how he's done it. So here is Flow Academy, the, the fake LMS. Um, and you can go in and try the demo. Um, and it got me thinking, what about building this with Outsetter's new Webflow app? So Outsetter is a, I guess it's a no-code platform um, all about membership software. So I've used it um, before and had a tinker, not really used it out in the wild as much as I may have should have. Um, but in essence, because the, they've launched in the Webflow store, um, I want to dive into this and really get, get my hands on it. In fact, myself and Aline have a, a little reason to use this because we're going to launch a few interesting things, um, in the coming months. So what we're going to do is, um, see how we can use this platform and do what Anoy has done with, with Wisdom and Xana. So to get started, actually, um, Outsetter have built a clonable, which is for a video course membership site. So you can see the clonable here. I've opened it here so you can actually see it. it it's essentially a demo site again, like Anoy has done, where you can sign up, uh, you can log in, log out, you can see free content, you can access paid courses. Um, it's, it's really, it's a full suite. Um, got some cool little animations on there. So what I did is I thought, okay, maybe I just use this. Maybe I use this as my base to um, do the demo on how AppSetter works. So I jumped into the clonable. Brilliantly, well laid out, but, but it's using client first. Now, client first is brilliant, and I've used client first quite extensively in the past. But these days I use Mast. I find it a little bit more uh, friendly for the way I build. And predominantly use it for i've probably been using it since probably a couple of weeks after it was launched last year and most of the sites now i build for myself and for clients is done through mast so what i thought i'd do i would rebuild this clonable um in mast and in doing so i can pick up how outside it works and actually get some of the um ideas that we have for the visual div um realized in the demo so the first thing I've done is I've gone over to Mast and I've cloned the project. And this is the project I've got now. I've actually added in a few little custom bits and bobs that I add into a lot of projects. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna do a series on how I rebuild Outsetter's clonable with Webflow using Outsetter for um, a demo that everyone can use. So yeah, tune in or not depending on which way you want to go. So hopefully then you can do a side-by-side -side comparison of how to build an LMS with Webflow, Wizd, and Xano, and how to build an LMS with Webflow and Outsetter. Hopefully it adds some value, and yeah, see you in the next episode.